Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Tuesday evening and this evening we are talking day two of my £20 budget shopping week and also answering some of the comments that came up in the last couple of days just so that you know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so today's Munjid where this morning I had two slices of toast with butter and jam I then, for lunch, had the pasta that I made, um, the leftover pasta from yesterday, which I showed you in the pan. I chopped up an onion and some mushrooms and two rashers of bacon, fried them off and then put them in the Tupperware with the pasta and added some salt and mayonnaise when I was at work this afternoon. And that was so filling that I only ate half of it. So for dinner this evening, rather than waste what I had there, and obviously because I'd cooked the pasta yesterday, I don't want to keep it another day. So I was like, right, I will have the rest of the pasta. What else can I have? And I thought roasted carrots. So I have put, done some roasted carrots, saved some for lunch for tomorrow, and that's pretty much me. Now, I do have to admit that while I was at work, there were snackies involved from the snack box. So they didn't actually cost me anything, but I did have two chocolate biscuits. Basically because I was going away to the dentist in the afternoon and I was like, I can't eat, I need to eat now. So yeah, that was me. So price wise, let us just look. It's actually been a really good day price wise. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my toast and jam, I'm going with 20 pence because the whole loaf was only 57 pence and I only took two slices. And, you know, a bit of butter and a bit of homemade jam that I made myself. So toast and jam was 20 pence. The pasta, I've worked out that it was 10 pence for the onion, 36 pence for the bacon. The mushrooms were 30 pence and the mayo would have been 20 pence. So that worked out at 96 pence, so just under a pound. But of course for dinner, I had the other half of the pasta, so most of my dinner didn't cost me anything. It's been budgeted in lunch. So my carrots would have been 10 pence because it's like 50 pence for the whole bag of carrots. So in total today, I have used £1.26 of my shopping. Excuse me. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I have, as I said, I was at the dentist this afternoon. Um, I know I was at the dentist a few weeks ago, but prior to that, I missed like almost a couple of years because of what was happening with mum and dad. So we're now doing a lot of dentistry. And... <laughs> Thankfully, today wasn't as bad as last time, but I, I'm literally just in, ate my food and jumped up to do the video. So pardon any extraneous noises. Now, what I did want to say is some people have asked questions. Um, somebody said, what about your greens? I don't particularly do greens as a vegetable. I don't have greens that I need to chop up and cook. But what I do have is I made green powder last year and it was spinach and kale. So anything that I make in the slow cooker, like I made the meatball sauce, they all had a teaspoon of um, green powder in them. The soup had a teaspoon of green powder in it. It's just, it sits by the slow cooker, it just it gets done. It's like, get your greens. So that is how I get my greens. Um, <clears throat> someone asked how I roast the carrots. I chop my carrots up into normally, let me see if I have a carrot, there should be a carrot behind me somewhere, there you go. So a carrot this size would be chopped in half and then split down the middle or split down the middle and chopped, you, know, you get four bits out of that carrot. And then I put them in the tub, as you can see it's got some oil in the bottom, put the lid on and shiggle them about until they're all coated in the oil. 
and thank you for, I can't remember who it was that told me that because I was literally standing dipping my bits of carrot in oil on a plate and I had that on a video and someone's like, Karen, that's like watching paint dry. Why don't you just put them in a tub with some oil and shake them about? Mm -hmm. I had never thought of that. Greatest thing ever. So that's what I do. I then put it in the air fryer that I have here. It's a chef free and I put it on air fry at 200 for 20 minutes and I just throw the carrots in because I don't like them having too much of a bite and that's it and they're done and they're perfect and it's healthy veggies that I'm eating which I'm very bad at so yeah that's what we do with that um there was another one where um they thought it was the 20 pound budget while using your stores and I had thought about that but the way things are going now, there's a lot of people that don't have the backups that I've got that would literally have £20. So what I'm trying to do is do as much as I can from what I bought for this week. And if I add something on, like someone said, what about eggs? I have eggs that we brought back from holiday. So I think I will add the cost of that onto my, what I shopped within. And we'll see by the time I add on the mayonnaise and the eggs and anything else that I add on through the week whether we still make it within the 20 pound like I had to get another carton of milk yesterday um so luckily I had one up the stairs so I need to add on to that eight pound 99 that I spent out of my 20 pound budget I need so far I need to add a jar of mayonnaise a tub of milk, a carton of milk, and probably eggs. So we'll work that out at the end of the week. If I've managed to do a week with that and then what I would look to be buying the next week to stay within that sort of budget and what I would have stores of. Like, obviously, I wouldn't need to buy mayonnaise two weeks in a row. Um, many carbs. Yes, there is many carbs. But I am very bad for that. I know that. So that's why now that I've found I like roasted carrots, I try and make a point of having that at least once a week as the main meal. I just have a whole load of roasted carrots and I enjoy it. So I, I try and keep that going. Um, the soup is not as carb, although it's lentil, but it doesn't always have to be lentil soup. I was just having a thing because my lentil soup has not turned out good over the last few attempts. This time it was perfect. I'm so happy. So next time I will make a different kind of soup. Um, and someone also said put the pasta in a soup, which I hadn't actually thought of, but I will be thinking of that the next time. So thank you for that. So please do let me know if there's any other questions you've got about this. I mean, so far so good on the budget £20 spend. As I say, we're adding little bits on as I find out what I've missed. Um, but also the surprise of how much pasta I didn't eat at lunchtime. So that was half my dinner tonight. Um, which means that one of the frozen meals that I had thought I was going to be using doesn't need to be used. See? And thankfully, I hadn't actually taken anything out of the freezer because I was having carrots tonight. That was happening. Um, but I didn't eat that many carrots either so I have some for lunch for tomorrow which I will take up to work and microwave at work to heat them up and we'll have a meal out of the freezer tomorrow I just haven't decided which one yet I'll take it out in the morning so yeah so far so good um hopefully fingers crossed we'll manage to keep it going so I am going to go now and make myself a cup of tea and relax catch you later